What's up guys? I am back with chapter four of the NASM study guide. This chapter is entitled Behavioral Coaching. So to get right into it, clients expect professionalism. Thus, it is crucial to build relationships and maintain a facility that supports training competency. Program design should be based on the client's abilities and should address their health concerns and goals. Self-efficiency is one of the strongest determinants of physical activity in adults. Most coaching efforts are directed at increasing a person's self-efficiency. Planning and self-monitoring are essential techniques in developing a regulatory strategy to improve self-efficiency. Effective judgment and subjective norms can be a, impact a person's readiness to perform resistance training. CPT should assess a client's stage, a stage of change and promote competency in exercise. The stages of change include pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance. So that uh, bullet point I actually heard was on quite a few people's uh, exams. The, uh, and I'll just reread that to drill it in. The stages of change include pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance. Both verbal and nonverbal forms of communication are important for developing professional client relationships. Active listening refers to having a genuine interest in understanding the client's health and fitness goals. It involves asking appropriate questions, avoiding distractions, and inner dialogue, and providing appropriate feedback. Motivational interviewing is a style of coaching that is used to enhance intrinsic motivation for change. CPTs can use some technique for motivational interviewing, such as developing discrepancy between clients' current state and ideal state, promoting change talk, and, ass and assessing readiness, willingness, and perceived ability to change. BCTs are used to enhance determinants of behavior. CPTs may use any number of strategies to enhance clients' confidence, motivation, or self-regulation skills through planning, self-monitoring, and goal setting. Cognitive strategies that can help, help change behavior include positive self-talk, imagery, and the practice of psyching up before activity. Goals that clients set should be SMART. So uh, the, the acronym SMART refers to S, specific, M, measurable, A, attainable, R, realistic, and T, timely. Clients should also focus on both process goals and outcome goals. For the best outcome, clients should determine long-term, bigger goals, then develop a series of smaller goals that can help progress to the main goal. And that is it for chapter, what chapter was that? Chapter four, behavioral coaching. So for the next uh, chapter, we got a new chapter and a new section. So this new section for the next video will be basic and applied sciences and nutritional concepts. Um, one that I heard is, again, pretty small on the nutritional concepts, is pretty small on the test, but uh, something I'm really interested in. So I'll try to go a little bit more in depth on the nutritional information, but the, the rest of this section I heard is also pretty small on the latest, latest exam. Um, but that is it, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, come back next time for chapter five of the NASM study guide. Um, yeah, that is it. Signing out.